guys, a little bit different video today. Um, you guys are used to the vlogs. If you guys are new to the channel, it's your first time stopping by just because you're watching a Military Blue video. We do drop weekly videos. Um, just kind of, we have shop here in Dallas, um, just kind of doing vlogs here at the store. Um, but today we are going to be doing a comparison and maybe like a quick little review on the new pair. Um, but we're going to do a comparison on all the different retros of the Military Air Jordan 4. Um, starting it off, there's been a lot of complaints online. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen by now, people are complaining about the color. People are complaining about the, just the shape, which I don't understand that because I'm really happy with the shape on these. But yeah, the color, um, not just the blue, but like you'll see here in a second, once we get into it, we'll talk about all the different things that people are complaining about. The quality control, obviously it's Nike, it's Jordan. Um, if you haven't gotten used to it by now, I don't know what to tell you. Like it's kind of just expected at this point, but um, yeah, we'll get into all that in a minute. Um, I do want to say before the video starts, uh, the 2012 pair, we do a weekly, we do a monthly thing here at the store. We do steals. Um, and I was thinking instead of putting these, I was going to just put these in the steals uh, for the month of what month, what, what month are coming out on? May, for the month of May, I was just going to throw these in the steals, but I was like, you know what? Let's give these away to the people. So one lucky comment and subscriber will win these 2012 military blues for free. They are used, but they're clean, like barely have any star loss OG all here at the box and everything. So comment and subscribe. You must comment um, that you're trying to just comment giveaway or just any comment. Any comment will be entered into the, the, the giveaway. Like if you comment on this video, you'll be entered into the giveaway and you have to be subscribed. We will be checking if you're subscribed. If you aren't, you're not, you are not eligible. So make sure you subscribe. Um, this is a size 10, but either way, I think someone's gonna want a free military blue, right? This is the 2012 pair that we're giving away, so yeah. Instead of throwing it in the steals, I thought we'd, that'd be a cool giveaway. We don't really ever do uh, giveaways on this channel, but we will be doing one for 10K, 10K subs, so if, run the subs up and we will be doing another giveaway. Um, but yeah, every comment on this video will be entered for the giveaway. And again, you must be subscribed. But yeah, enough yap, let's get into this. Um, I'm gonna scoot these two to the side. And we're just going to do a quick little review. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of uh, the 2006 and 2012 military blues by now. They've been out for over a decade, both of them. So you guys have seen those by now. Military blue, 2024 or industrial blue, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to call it military blue. I don't know. I, I don't understand that name switch. It says military blue on the box, which is kind of weird to me. I don't know. It says military blue on the label. Last minute audible from Nike, let's switch it to industrial blue. I don't know, <laughs> really random, but yeah. Here's the shoe. I posted these on the gram, on my personal, everyone was saying, what do you think of the colorway? What do you think of the colorway? What do you think of the colorway? How do you think of the color? Like, what are your thoughts? So I thought, let's just make this video. Um, I don't care. I'm not that picky when it comes to sneakers. A lot of you dudes are, and I get it, I understand it. Retails $215 on this shoe, so it kind of makes sense to be a little bit picky. I get it, but personally, I don't care at all about how this shoe looks. I'm happy. I have been waiting for, literally since the day I got into shoes, I've been wanting a Nike Air Military Blue Jordan 4, and here we have it. Um, just one slight shade of blue, it being off, does not bother me personally. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people that it does bother, but again, I'm not that picky. I don't care about creases in my shoes. Um, I'm not even that picky about my sizing. Like I can wear an 11 and a half or 12 in literally any shoe, literally. So like, I'm, I'm just not that picky of a person. I get it. We're going to go over all the differences, but I know there's some people, picky people out there off rip. I guess for someone that is picky that it, this would annoy this blue is different from this blue. And it's also different from this blue and it's also different from this blue. So like you literally have like multiple shades of blue on the shoe. Once they're on your feet and you're styling them, I really don't think you're going to be able to tell. Like that's just something that I'm noticing, like holding them right up here to my face. I don't really care again, or I can tell. Um, but yeah, it is different. The camera is definitely picking it up. Like this blue and the Nike Air blue is way, it is like a full shade. It's not even like just a half, like it is a full shade different from this like paint on the midsole. Um, so yeah, I think that's everyone's main gripe. Again, I don't really care, but I know a lot of people are really hating that. The other thing I noticed off rip when I first get these shoes out of the box too, this shoe is not like a pure white. 
the leather at least like the upper it is not like a white it's almost like a super 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 light shade of gray which is almost really similar to the Amamanir Dawn colorway that we got. Um, I would compare it to that. If you've seen those in hand, it's really similar to that. Like, it's not white. And I wouldn't even call it eggshell because it's not like a creamy either. It's like, a, it's literally like a light shade of gray. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick that up because that is really subtle, but um, th the camera will definitely pick this up. You can see just the shade of the, the midsole white compared to this right here. I mean, you're seeing that, right? Like. The white right here and the white right here, it's not the same. It's not. Again, not something that really bothers me. I, I definitely noticed it off rip and I was like, oh, like why? Why do they do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Again, it really doesn't bother me, but how much more of a review do we need of these? You know what I mean? It's it's military blue four. You know, you got classic four silhouette. Um, I, again, they, I've heard that this is the updated shape. So this is the bread reimagined shape and the SB4 shape right here. So that's nice because it's way more comfortable. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how much more in depth we need to go on these. Let's, we can start with the comparisons, but yeah, two main gripes for people, gray, like leather and like weird blue, I guess weird, a little, a little bit off, but, um, yeah, this pair right here doesn't look bad quality control. This is your, this is our, the, the man behind the camera's pair, um, Raul's, this is a pretty solid pair quality control wise. Um, a lot of people were complaining about quality control, but it's like a stitch. And one thing I did want to say about that too, like they dropped a million and a half pairs of these, man. Like they're trying to make them accessible. So it's either they cut the stock in half and they're reselling for double the price and you get great quality, which I think it probably would have been the same quality. I don't have a problem with this leather. Do you have, I mean, I don't think it's that bad. People are saying, like, oh, it's plastic, it's shit. I'm like, it's not going to be tumbled leather like the reimagined fours. You know what I mean? That wouldn't even look correct. This is, this is, this is. You need a smooth leather on this shoe. You know what I mean? This is a mil This is a military blue. Yeah. You don't want a tumbled leather on these. I don't know what people expected. This is just a smooth cut of leather. Like it's just. Other than the color shade, other than the, the gray shade, it's exactly what I picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, did you expect a shattered backboard quality leather? That wouldn't even look right. You know what I mean? Like. Sure, it would have been nice to feel, I guess, but like it just wouldn't have looked correct. So a lot of people are complaining that the leather is not good. I don't know what y'all expected. Um, I don't know if you've seen an 89 Military 4. Um, probably you haven't seen it in hand, but in pictures, I mean, it's just got that smooth leather. It's not soft tumbled leather, like a shattered backboard or a SB4 or a reimagined four. That's just not what it is. That's, that's just not how the shoe was made in 89. You know what I mean? That's, that's not what you're gonna get. So yeah, um, like I said, right here, we've got 2024. 2012, I'm just gonna move these lids out of the way. 2012, and right here, you've got the 2006. Unfortunately, we don't have the 89 pair. We do have an 89 pair here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but we do have an 89 pair of breads here in the table in the display case, which is pretty crazy, but we don't have the 89 militaries, unfortunately. That would have been insane. Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people making reviews on these. That's cool and all, but I wanted to do a comparison video uh, just because I wanted to compare the different shades and off rip, you can definitely see the difference in shading um in the colors of blue for sure and just the white um but i guess we'll just start with the 2006 pair i'm gonna move this 2012 pair out of the way i'll start with the 2006 pair um this is an original 2006 military blue four um we just have these hanging up in the shop we hang up like these older pairs and just kind of keep them in memorabilia but as you can see these are not wearable it's literally like cake um, like literally just completely, completely unwearable. The back heels have cracked off. The wings logo, the wings have cracked off. Um, yeah, I do want to give a quick shout out to my boy, Steven, um, for literally donating this to us. You did not have to do that, man. And that is so cool. He donated these to us a while ago, not even, not for this video or anything. He just literally out of the kind of his heart brought them in and said, Hey, you guys can hang up, have them and hang them up. And Steven, you're a real one for real. I appreciate you for that. Um, seriously, so, so cool. Um, honestly, almost all these pairs that are hung up here in the shop are donated, which is so cool. You guys are the best, but yeah, he donated this to us OG all literally with the retro card and the box and everything. And you can, you guys can see, I think this, this pair might even be dead stock, man. Like the stars are uh, there. I mean, they're there. Like I, this pair might not even be worn. Like I don't even. The jump man's fully intact on the insole. So for real, shout out to Steven, man. Um, I hope you're watching, brother. Um, but yeah, 
Just putting these side by side here, look at the difference in the blue. You can see, can you see that? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it is, it's there for sure. I mean, like, you can definitely see it. Uh, overhead shot. I don't know what, like, shade, this is just a true, like, royal blue right here. This is, this is blue. You know what I mean? This is blue as it gets right there. This is definitely, like, I don't want to say navy, but maybe, like, an aquamarine. I don't even know what color shade to call this. Super, super dark. It's like an industrial blue. <laughs> But nah, for real though, like you can like you can see that like, it's 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 different for sure. Um, I will say on this one, I don't know if it's because of the aging or or what or 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 what it is, but these kind of do look gray too. This white, it doesn't really look pure white. Uh, I guess we'll see that twenty twelve pair looks a little bit more pure white. Um, but yeah, I mean, what really what more can we compare? Uh, the bottoms. About the same. Obviously, this one's aged, so it's a little yellowed and stuff. But uh, yeah, Jumpman said Nike. Jumpman said Nike. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the back tabs. What we've been waiting for all this time. The Nike Air. Love to see it. Um, finally, man. You know. God damn. I I have been waiting for a Nike Air Military Blue Four. So yeah, I mean since middle school, bro. Like literally since I've. I, I'm not I'm not even like that big like the Nike Air thing isn't even that big of a deal to me But on retros it is like, you know, my my you know, my fire reds my breads my my whites my white cements I, I need my Nike Air pairs. You know what I mean? Um, people always be like bro if the black cats had Nike Air on them, but like that doesn't even make sense They're not a retro. You don't need Nike Air on a black cat like that doesn't make any sense this you need Nike Air on you need Nike Air on a retro um, this is an OG 89 four colorway, so you, you got to have Nike Air on these in my opinion So I held off on getting these for the longest time just because they didn't have Nike Air and it just bothered me So I'm I, like I'm so happy to have these like and maybe that's why I'm not being so critiqueful on these Because I'm just so happy to like finally get a retro with Nike Air and the correct shape and everything Maybe that's why I'm being kind of soft on them. I guess what do you like better? What do you mean? What do you, what do you think? What do you what do y'all like better comment below? Which one you like better 2006? 2024 um I look. I do really like how the way these age, but yeah, overall shape, Nike Air. I, I prefer the 2020, 20, 2024 pair, obviously. Um, 18 years later, we got this. So, pretty crazy, man. Uh, this shoe is older than my both of my sisters. So, all right, sorry, this shoe is <laughs> not this shoe, but yeah, pretty crazy. Um, we'll do all three side by side comparison, but now let's get the 2012 pair in here. Um, again, off rip, huge color difference in the blue. Um, this one, this one isn't at as, as like royal blue as 2006. This is almost like a UNC blue. Yeah. Almost. Not quite there, but it, it's almost like a UNC, like bright blue. But yeah, I mean, look how different that is, dude. Like, I mean, there, there's a clear difference, clear and obvious difference. I mean, it is not, it's not even like, oh, there might be a little shade off. It's it's different, man, like period. Um, does it, like, like, like I was just talking about those, does it bother you? Kind of up to the person who buys them. Again, doesn't bother me. I don't care. Um, I'm just happy to have them. But yeah, I hate the shape of these. Yeah, I don't like it. Like this to me, I, I getting like I can get over the blue for sure for the for this shape. You know what I mean? This is the correct. This is the shape they're supposed to be. Uh, this to me looks way better. This looks. I wouldn't even say more sleek. It almost is a little bit more bulky, but it looks correct to me. Like this looks right. To me, this looks, this doesn't look right to me. Yeah, so yeah, that's another thing. Obviously, if you guys have had owned a pair of fours prior to 2023, shape is terrible. These are the most uncomfortable things. Y'all know what I'm talking about right there. That toe pinch sucks. Um, but yeah, here you got your 2012 pair. It really is really similar to the, to the 2006. I mean, not much changed here. I mean, it really is like super similar. So, I mean, to each their own. I've been seeing some people that are even saying that they're going to keep these and not even get these. That's kind of crazy to me. Like, no way. No way. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it is not that bad, bro. Like, I don't know. Leave Again, leave y'all's opinions in the comments below. Please let me know what y'all think. And another thing I want to point out, dude, this, le like, people were saying that this quality leather is better. It's not. It's really not like it's a smooth cut leather. It's not, it's really not much better. 
I mean, maybe, but it might just because these are more like worn in and the leather's more like massaged, I guess. I don't even know how to explain it, but like, dude, like it's not, it's not that much better quality leather, brother. Like it's, if you guys are really thinking that it's all in your head, dude, like it's really not, it's, it's, it's a smooth cut leather. It's nothing, nothing crazy. Again, the, on this pair, this is a pure white. This leather is pure white right here for sure. You can definitely see that. Um, this leather is pure, pure, pure white. I mean, I don't know if the camera will pick this up because this is really subtle, but you can see the color in the leathers. Like this is for sure like a light gray, especially putting them up to this. You can see what I'm talking about with the light gray on this one for the white leather. But yeah, I'm going to get one shoe of each out and we're going to put all three side by side by side. Here's all three. 2006, 2012, 2024. Here they all are. Again, leather quality is just as mid across the board. There's nothing here that's like, oh my God, the 2024 one is so much worse than the 2006 or 2012. They're all the same, dude. Like just Jordan brand shitty quality leather. Like it's just, it is what it is. Right here? Yeah, in the 06. Yeah, they, yeah, they both got them. <laughs> that's not a flaw though. That's a peak. They all have them. But it's, I'm saying like everybody that was complaining. Yeah, about people it. were complaining about it. Yeah, they all have it. It's that's just that's just what it is. I guess the 2012 pair doesn't have it, but it's not like this is like made in Italy or anything, dude. Like these are all made from the same place. Like they're all like eh. Like the the quality is not good. You're buying a Jordan at the end of the day. You're not buying a a Louis Vuitton trainer. You know what I mean? Like you're not getting a a, a german cut leather or anything this is this is this is a nike quality shoe like it is what it is you've been dealing with it for years like we do get those occasional shattered backboards bread like 2016s those have amazing leather uh band 2011s bin bin fives like those all have crazy cut leather but retail is 400 dollars on those bin fives you know what i mean like retail was high on those so like it's just you kind of you, you get what you pay for i get that they've been re uh, raising the price on these retails over the years but it's not it's this is, this is all just a Nike quality shoe. Like it's not, I don't know. Just everyone's complaining about the quality of the leather is like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Cause when, when was the last time we got a good quality four other than the bread four, I guess. Here's the, here we go. Here's, here's all three here lined up. Um, this, yeah, this 2006 dude, this leather is kind of gray on this one. You can definitely, if you have them all lined up like this, you can definitely see the, the difference in colors of, of the whites. Um, Another thing I will say is the netting on these is like super squared. This one has like that updated like little like, I don't even know how else to say it, but they have like little nipples on there on the netting. Like it's not, it's not just flat, which I like this better. I think this looks a little, a little better. I don't, this to me almost looks fake. I don't know how to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but this, like this just flat, flat netting looks kind of fake to me. I like, I like this like with the little perforations on there. I like that a little better. Um, but yeah, you got all three here, man. Um, I'm, I'm still going 2024. That, I think the the cut of them is a little higher too. I don't know if the you can see that on the back too, but they're like a little taller. Yeah. This one is, and they're all about the same size, guys. These are all like 10, 10 and a half, 11. So these are all about the same size. Um, so I don't think it's because of the size. I do think this one's just a little bit taller, which is correct. They should be. Um, the lowest one looks to be the 2006 pair which this is a bigger size than these. So it's, again, it's not the sizing. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments what y'all think. I, I, again, personally, I'm very happy to have the 2024 pair out, man. I've been waiting for this for literally years. Like I've, I've wanted this shoe since I got into them. I know I've said it like five times already, but it, it really is true. Like I, I'm, there hasn't been a Jordan that I've been this excited for in a while, man. I, I'm really, really happy for these. And again, I'm really happy they're mass produced. I'm happy that they're going for 260, 270 bucks. You know what I mean? Like that's dope. That, that's a, that's a good thing. Like everyone I think is going to be able to get their hands on these for under 280, maybe 300 bucks max. I think everyone's going to be able to get their hands on these for a, a, a fair price. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm really happy about these, man. Um, I don't know. Could they have done a little better? Sure. But it's Jordan brand. They're going to, they're going to do, they'll always do a little something that's going to bother everyone. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me. Is it a deal breaker for you though? Let us know in the comments, um, which retro you like. Um, again, I really, really wish we had the 89 pair here. Imagine 89. That would be so crazy if we had all of them, 
Um, that's just four bands. I'm not not, not spending four bands. We're not there. Out, we're not there yet on the YouTube. Hey man, if, if, the, if the views were a million and I was gonna make my money back on it, sure. But we're not there yet. Maybe one day. But um, yeah, I thought this was a cool video to get out for you guys. Uh, just the little re review slash comparisons because everyone was. It's been it's been the hottest topic in the game right now. Everyone talking about the new qualities that are just the, the colors off and everything. Um, is it a deal breaker for you though? Let us know in the comments. Um, I'm sure Roll is gonna have some fire B-roll for y'all here in a second. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the 2024 Military Blue. Is it a cop? Is it a drop? Is the color shades a deal breaker for you? Everyone's got an opinion, you know, everyone's different. I'm not that picky. Like I said at the beginning of the video, some people are. So is it a, is it a deal breaker for you? Um, what are your thoughts on it? Are you copying? Um, did you cop already for retail? Let us know in the comments. And like I said, all the comments will be entered in a giveaway to win these for free, the 2012 pair. Um, so yeah, you might as well comment, get yourself entered, and you might as well sub to get yourself entered for a free pair of 2012 Military Blues. But yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Is there anything else? Any any final any final statements on on these? You want to cover? I think it covered everything. Good. Okay. Like, comment, sub. Let us know in the comments. I want some discussions. I want some arguments down there. I want I want it to get messy down there. Let us know what happens. Uh, I, I want y'all to argue and shit down there. I, I honestly love reading the comments when there's when there's you know controversy controversy on a, on a sneaker because this is kind of like a controversy, right? That they didn't get the color correct. Yeah, just picky people. Is it? Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, definitely not. Don't no way. But yeah, let's let, let, get some comments going down there. Um, and yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, like I said, check out our other videos. We do weekly uploads. And yeah, we'll see you guys for the next one. If you want more of these videos too, let us know. We like doing these uh, like review videos. It's fun. So yeah, let us know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped some people that were on the fence about copying these. Um, yeah. So I think I think. Uh, I think this is a cop for me personally. It's a cop for the whole vault team here. So um, if you're asking us, I like them. We all like them. So yeah, later guys. Hope everyone has a safe, blessed day.